on a recent trip to the northwest part of Nevada to explore the Jumbo Mine in the Paradise Valley area, Russ and I stayed in Winnemucca for the night. The next morning, we headed towards Eureka with a stop at the Gold Park Mill area. I will attach links to these videos. Eureka has always been one of my favorite old mining towns in Nevada. You know, traveling through the state, you have to really plan where you can find gas, food, and lodging. Situated on Highway 50, called the loneliest highway in America, Eureka has it all. A few good restaurants with some nice places to stay. It was raining when we got there, and after checking in, we drove around town to capture the charm of this old mining town. Hey, are you all right? They asked me, sitting with a glass of whiskey. On a chance, we checked to see if we could enter the old well maintained courthouse built in 1879. It was 45 at the time, and it closes at 5, but we are graciously welcomed in and invited to photograph the courtroom, which wasn't even in session that day. It was amazing how well kept this interior has been maintained. It was quite a treat to witness this beautiful old building, and a big thanks to the workers there that were so friendly and helpful. After a really nice steak dinner, Russ and I walked around and took some photos of some of these old buildings, many of which were built in the late 1800s. We noticed that they had done a beautiful job in restoring the old Colonnade Hotel, built in the 1880s. And I think it's wonderful that Eureka has restored many of these old buildings. You know, we, we're from Las Vegas, where anything older than 30 years is torn down and a bigger structure is erected. This area was discovered in September of 1864, by silver prospectors in the nearby hills. A site for a town was established in what was known as Horse Thief Canyon. Not sure of the name, but I guess you could probably guess. In September 1870, the post office established it was called Eureka. Eureka from the Greek term, I have found it. The Eureka was first discovered in 1864. The extraction process was very difficult. In about 1869, these first smelters were built to process these complex lead ores. During Eureka's 1870s, there were about 125 saloons, 25 gambling halls, and 100 other businesses. A large amount of growth was spurred in 1875 due to the completion of the Eureka Palisade Railroad, allowing the ore and resources to be shipped out and brought in. 50 mines produced gold, silver, lead, and zinc for the 17 smelters that had processed up to 700 tons per day. In 1879 and in the 1880s, devastating fires and floods nearly destroyed all of the buildings in Eureka. These immigrant pioneers rebuilt the town better and stronger each time. The mining boom in Eureka ended almost as quickly as it started, and by 1895, most of the good ore had been mined. Most of the smelters had ceased operation in 1891. From 1874 to the present day, Eureka County still has numerous active mining operations, but rancho and mining are still very much a part of Eureka's economy with alfalfa, timothy hay, and beef being the primary exports. I've been visiting Eureka since 2015. Many of the photos you see date back to numerous visits, including June of 2015, and the latest in 2023. Another fun trip for two old guys in the middle of nowhere. Take some time, remember night Sitting by the fire, leaning back Watching the red sky sunset Let those bare feet sway and swing 